it's Tuesday the 18th of January, it's Thai Pusum, so I have a day off. Um, so I'm gonna go walk in the jungle. I think this is called the Bird of Paradise. This type of thing is ever, I love it. This is the biggest butterfly I have ever seen. Or moth, I don't know. Almost Chinese New Year, so there's decorations up in many places. I wouldn't say everywhere. I love these massive leaf plants. These are some things I've been looking for. They're, they're all over the place. All my students call them touch me nots. Um, you can probably see why. I think it's awesome. I'm trying to grow some in class. Brilliant. Let's close up their leaves. Yeah, there's the path I'm gonna take as soon as I can. That's where I came from. That's where I go in. It's gonna look nice when it's done. Right, I'm approaching the jungle. Last time I was here, I severely sprained my ankles. Trying to go for a run around the jungle. I have to wait here for about half an hour to get picked up by a friend. So I'm facing, facing my demons now, heading back into the jungle, which almost almost took my life on my ankles I was out out for five weeks uh, not able to walk not able to put weight on my foot and then another like eight weeks before it felt okay to walk again so it was quite a bad sprain and I had to hop down this entire stretch down this entire stretch for a kilometre which was hard okay we're at the entrance to the jungle last time I was here I sprained my ankle five minutes in so I'm going to be extra cautious this time I hope I see some monkeys or some monitor lizards and here's the way up there is an alternate route but this one looks like it has steps to me oh, look. hello you look gross but awesome at the same time all right Let's see if i can do this holding onto the camera Like I said, there's, there is another way up, but this one has roots as steps. Okay, jungle. I'm gonna walk it this time. Let's see, it's taken me 43 minutes to get here. It's about five kilometers. I walked most of it. I ran, well, probably most of the time I walked, but most of the distance I ran. All right. You can probably still hear the, the motorway. It will get quieter. I like these leaves. Nothing spectacular, but I don't know, I like everything. Tomorrow, in my class, I'm going to set them a task of, we're going to go out into our, our own patch of jungle and see if we can identify some of these plants. Probably some of the same ones we see here. But I think it's cool to be able to 
tell what they are. They probably all have difficult to remember names, but we'll come up with some fun names that are easier to remember. So I'm guessing this is to prevent landslides or mudslides. Just a reminder to be careful. And also if it starts to rain, best to leave. Funnily enough, this isn't where I tripped. Lots of tripping hazards. So you really do have to watch where you're going. I wish I had done that back in October. You see tree roots and you take care. That's where you don't see them. This, this part kind of looks just like an ordinary woodland to me. Different plants, but it doesn't feel like a jungle. I mean, the humidity aside, I kind of imagine, I don't know. Is that mud or a disease? Looks like a disease. I like these kind of curly things. For me, the main difference here, <laughs> these curly things, I guess you see them on fern in England or Europe. I think you see them, but anyway, the main difference here is the size of leaf in my estimation. I think this is where I tripped. I think this is where I tripped. Yeah, I think here. I think it might have even been this bit that and I kind of popped my way down here. Not an alligator, it's a tire. I hopped my way down here, kind of clung onto this and almost passed out. Oh cool, a little stream. I say cool, it kind of makes it hard to walk through here, but I'll do my best. Oop. Oh man, this is slippery. <laughs> I'll leave the camera rolling for the inevitable bloopers. So this is further than I got last time. That looks like it's, to me it seems like it's the border to the actual jungle. This was just a prelude. Hello butterfly. I bet you I can spot some of those no touch -ems or touch me nots in a matter of seconds here. Yeah. Yep, there we are. There they go. previous place I saw these was Costa Rica so either these are have been transported abroad somehow through some of their seeds and they do have seeds I've seen the seeds there that's a seed or they existed primordially before ooh, before the continents that looks little pockets of perfection. See if you can focus. Come on. God, I need a better phone. No. Let's see. That's better. Nice. Zoom out. It's a big boulder. Stop it. The trees are in pain. Stop what? Painting them? Stop hammering stuff on them, I guess. Just a big How did that get there? 
flooding, I guess, landslide. Ooh, I can still hear the car noise, but I'll be quiet for a second so you can hear the whatever they are. I don't know which route to take. Um, I better pay close attention to where I'm going and not just videoing, otherwise I'll get lost. My battery's running low. I didn't charge it before coming out, which is probably a bit of a mistake. Right, I think to save battery, I'm just going to Ooh, there's two grasshopper type things. One there, one there. What do you do? Oh, you got a long antenna. Anyway, I'm going to only turn on the video when I see interesting things, but considering I find everything interesting, that might not help. Anyway, ooh, a living thing moving around. What's that touching me? All right, well, let's, I'll try to reserve it for the extra cool thing. What are these? That literally took me five seconds of turning the camera off before seeing something cool. That's just, they look kind of like walrus. Tusk, not walrus, what am I thinking of? Onyx? Is that a Pokemon? Whatever, the or Oryx. Those things with curly horns. Anyway, it looks pretty cool. Same stuff again, but I get a closer look. That's so cool. That's proper solid. That is just amazing. Are they vines that have come down to the ground? Or have they grown up from roots? Honestly, like, I don't see any leaves on any of these. I see where there were probably leaves. Would they be green? At some point. Anyway, found some quite large mushrooms. That's the size compared to my hand. Some more. Some more. Some more. I'm almost over mushrooms now. Oh, new one. Head down to the water. Here's the path. This may be as close as I'm going to get. I'm in a bit of a clearing here, possibly caused by some trees being chopped down. You can actually see light, but also. Standing on a log, if you can see, there's the water in the distance. Can't get down to it. At least there's no path. Thought these looked cool. We saw these a bit before. There's loads over there. Before I got the video out, my phone out, whatever. Before I got my camera out, there was like a ton of dragonflies all flying around here. They went. Got closer to the water. I wonder if I'll be able to see anything. Not really. 
really. I could probably sit here for an hour, maybe see something. I don't have that much battery power left. I'm on like 15%. I do see fish. They are very small. I wonder if the camera pick them up. Now I... Just below that, the centre of the screen. Not very big. Must be bigger ones somewhere. Got even closer. Look at these. They appear to ooze. Probably to attract birds and insects, but kind of. I'm really thirsty. That's looking really tempting. I'm not sure what this is. There's a concrete bit here. Someone's attempted to support the path or something. It's hollow underneath. There appears to be, what would you call it? A dully. Going through here on the way to that water. Looks pretty cool. Interesting erosion. Guessing there's something living in there. Yeah. I'll leave it alone. There's just something about the way these leaves look, I think, really cool. There's a path down to the water. Part of the way. Guess I'm going to try it. Go a bit further. Oh, I'm gonna slip. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Worth it, I think. Don't know what you can see. Ooh, splashed. I saw a massive bird fly away a minute ago. It was big and brown. It had just been a duck. Don't see it though. Dear, I wonder if that tree made a sound when it fell. To me, this kind of looks like jungle. Kind of what I imagine jungle to look like. Like many layers. Big leaves. Whack whack sounds. Look at those leaves. Huge. I'm gonna spot something sometime. All run out of battery. I do see the same leaves everywhere. It's obviously very diverse in here, but there's a lot of repetition. Oh, that's a cool. I don't know if I can see it. It's like a bi, not biplane. Well, it's got four wings. It's got mahogany coloured. And I don't see it anymore. Hopefully I caught it on camera. Butterfly. I don't feel any mosquitoes or anything like that. I think I must have become new to them. Alright, I'm going to see if I can find my way home now. I've gone around this lake. So I'm kind of hoping that there is a 
path back without having to go back, follow my footsteps. But I didn't take any complicated route, so I should at least be able to find my way back. Famous last words, goodbye. I've got to get back up here now. I will do it without filming it. I'm pretty sure if I cross this, this is a shortcut back. tantalizing. I'm gonna try it. In fact, I'm gonna video myself trying. Okay, it's a bit squishy. No snakes yet. Yeah. There's a leaf falling, don't worry. Mm, lots of spiders. Oh, this is easy. I want to drink this water so bad right now, I'm really dehydrated. <sighs> but that would be a bad idea. There better be a path now, though that wasn't hard. I feel I should be rewarded. Oh, hey, what's this? It's like a, a brick reservoir. A small, God knows what's in there. Dead bodies, probably. Oh. Okay, I'm learning my lesson from... Three. I'm just going to head back and go the long way around. <sighs> Last time I tried this, I got further and further into trouble until I thought I was going to die. Still looks really tempting to drink. I mean, if it wasn't so brown and red, Anyway, I'll see you back at the exit. Good thing about spotting everything and going, oh, look at that, is on the way back, spot the same things again and feel reassured you're going in the right direction. I'm usually hopeless at finding my way around, but I suppose having spotted so many cool things on the trees, whatever, even if I didn't video them. It's gonna help me get back. It's the boulder and I'm out. Great success. The bits that I was trying to cross, I think were just there. Has gone up there. Then that would have saved me well, really only about 10 minutes. And I'm out. That's where I went in and that's where I came out. All right, time to jog home. Bye.